Hello friend, welcome back to Pavan IT Zone. My name is Pavan Kumar and in this video, we are going to learn how to inject Vault Secret in Terraform while deploying components on AWS Cloud Platform. If you are a developer looking to safely provision infrastructure using Terraform or given their own set of long lived scope AWS credentials. While this enables the developer's freedoms, using long-lived credentials can be dangerous and difficult to secure. Operators need to manage a large number of static, long-lived AWS IAM credentials with varying scope. Long-lived credentials on developer's local machine creates a large attack surface. In this video, at the end of this, you can see how you can configure Vault AWS Secret Engine through Terraform, used dynamic short-lived AWS credentials to provision infrastructure and restricted the AWS credential permissions by adjusting the corresponding Vault role. While going through this video, you will see how to install Terraform. Then you will see install Vault and start service. Afterwards, we will create IAM user with the adjustable permissions to uh, perform Terraform task while creating user and the instance. Configure environment variable with AWS secrets and vault URL and token. Afterwards, we will see the examples through this GitHub page. And I have put some code on Terra for Terraform on GitHub. You can choose and you can practice. And later on, we will see how we can implement and we can see the practical view of injecting Vault Secret into Terraform. Let's first see how to install Terraform. In this video, I'm not going to install install Terraform, but I will show you how you can do that. You can simply type install Terraform on Google and you can come to this page. After coming to this page, you can see many options are there. I have selected Linux because I have Linux machine to install. So if you have a Ubuntu machine, you can select Ubuntu options. If you have a CentOS, you can select CentOS. If you have a Fedora, you can select Fedora or Amazon Linux. If you have a Win Mac machine or the Windows machine, you can select these options as well. Right now I have Ubuntu machine, so I have selected Ubuntu. I have followed these commands. So you can cop simply copy the commands and you can paste commands on your machine so what it will do it will install terraform command on your linux machine later on you have to install vault so the same thing have to done for vault so to install vault you have to go on google and search for install vault and you can select the operating system as you desire i have selected linux and ubuntu and I will follow this process and it will install Vault on my Ubuntu machines. Or you can also check out my video on how to install Vault. So you can simply use this link or I will copy this link in my comment box. You can go and check out. Also, you can go on YouTube channel and you can simply type Power 90 Zone and you will see how to install Vault on Ubuntu Linux. Now it's time to create AWS IAM user. Just go to AWS console and create IAM user and provide appropriate permission so that this user can create a user or the policies into IAM service. Once you will create IAM user, it will give you access key and the secret key. So what you need to do is to replace access key and the secret key and replace the IP address of your instance from 127.0.0.12, the IP address of your machine, or if you want to access locally of your vault, then you don't have to change anything. Otherwise, you have to change the IP address of your instance. Now you have to provide the token, which will be used to log in into the vault, and it will create a path to store temporary or you can say dynamic access key and the secret key while running Terraform applied. 
now we are ready with the environment we have installed terraform we have installed vault we have set up some variables on the console from where we have to run the terraform code now it's time to see the real-time examples which is there on github and you can use Pavanati zone and for inside Pavanati zone you can select this repository so let's see so this is my github and from there you can have to go inside of this repository you will see there are two folders vault admin workspace and jenkins instance so first you need to get inside of vault admin workspace and run terraform apply and it will create some required data to go on aws and jenkins instance basically this inside this folder you will have the code which will connect to aws console and it will create ec2 instance and now it's time to see what's inside this folder so let's first go vault admin workspace and inside you can see version.tf so version.tf have information about vault that how terraform will integrate with vault now main.tf so main.tf will integrate with terraform uh, terraform will integrate with the vault as a provider and then it will create some uh, secrets inside the move vault and it will also create our policies which has the im full access and the ec2 full access and in final it will create two entities one for back backend and the second one is for the row let's see what's inside the other folder jenkins instance and go to jenkins instance.tf and here you can see i have added the path from where it will pull the information of vault admin workspace so uh, this path will need to add it at here and you need to provide these data information so this data information will be pulled uh, these two information that we have created backend and role in the previous folder and next it will create a resource and the resource will have the ami and the instance type will be added up here and the name of the instance will be provided through the tag so i have added name at here jenkins instance so this instance will create on aws now it's time to do some practice so let's go on github and copy the url and paste on the Linux machine to clone the code get inside so first I need to run vault admin workspace so this will create some path on vault and it will create some role and backend so let's see how it does okay so now run terraform init command now it's time to run terraform apply so once you will apply terraform command you will see that it uh, the a folder for vault will be created at here type yes now check so these are the policies has been created so i am full access and ec2 full access will be there and the backend and role will be created so let's refresh login inside it and now you can see the folder path has been created and inside it you can see uh, i am user uh, rule has been created now it's time to go inside the Jenkins instance folder and run terraform init now run terraform apply So once the Terraform apply will be completed, you can see EC2 instance at here. A new EC2 instance will be created at here. And you can also see 
an I am user. So let's check out. There is no user with name of Walt. Okay, you can verify that there is no user with name of Walt. So once apply will complete, it will create these two entities. Type yes. So these instances will be created with these informations. So now Jenkins instance is being created. So let's check. First check the IM user. Okay, so the use dynamic user has been created. Now check if EC2 instance is launched. Okay, so we have Jenkins instance launched and we are done at here. So you can also destroy by Terraform destroy commands and it's done. You can verify this thing informations.